know what to do with my hands. Well, I figured I'd uh, go a different route this time around. I was just sitting in traffic and I had an epiphany. I need to go to Tiffany's. <laughs> Fucking stupid. No, I was sitting in traffic and I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I got people complaining because uh, my videos aren't long enough. And I got some saying that, you know, my videos aren't, aren't short enough because their attention span is that of a goldfish. So... I'm going to go to uh, go two ver versions of uh, videos now. I'm going to do a short, sweet, blunt, simplified version. And then I'm going to do the, the detailed, longer version. So right now I'm going to do a short, sweet, blunt, simplified version of how to gain muscle or gain weight. Um, it's going to be fun. All right. So in order to gain weight, you need to be in a caloric surplus. You need an excess amount of calories, more than what your basal metabolic rate is going to be sitting at, um, about 500 over. Um, protein powders. <clears throat> protein powders you only should be consuming if, as an as-needed basis. Uh, if you're not able to consume enough uh, protein in that day or you miss a meal, great. It's a great tool. Dirty bulk, clean bulk. Uh, dirty bulk's obviously you're going to be consuming as much food and not giving a fuck what it really is. Is uh, basically if it fits your macros, <laughs> give or take. And clean bulk is uh, paying attention to what you're consuming and uh, trying to um, um, shorten the, or alleviate the amount of fat and uh, water uh, retained uh, during this bulk. Um, you want to retain, uh, you want a notebook to be able to uh, keep track of all your lifts, to be able to ensure that you're you're uh, implementing proper progressive overload. You're doing more than you did last time. Um, you want to try to keep rest between each set short as possible, one to two minutes, to be able to make sure that your uh, your body doesn't cool down and it is no longer uh, not ready for the. Uh, the next set or next poundages that you're going to be implementing onto your body. This is Mavis, three-legged cat. <laughs> but um, your rep range should be between eight and ten reps to failure. It's as uh, safe as possible. Um, trying to stay to basic compound movements. Um, you can still do this with certain machines like. Uh, um, uh, the Smith uh, Smith machine, you could do incline, decline, flat, bench, but you can also do squat and overhead press. Uh, it's not the best for biomechanics on the squats, but it can still be done. And um, to be able to ensure that you go to failure and um, and doing that in a safe manner. Um, don't stay in the gym forever. Get in and get the fuck out. You're not going to sit there and party. A lot of people are thinking that, you know, they grow in the gym, they stay in the gym forever. Like, a lot of these uh, celebrity celebrities and celebrity fitness coaches say, you know, three, four hours. No, if you're doing one muscle group, 45 minutes is about as all as you're going to need. Two muscle groups, maybe an hour, like if you're doing chest and triceps or back and biceps. If you're if you're doing one to uh, two minute rest sets between each set and you're going to failure, keep your intensity up. You're not going to need longer than that. I promise you. Like the best analogy that. Um, that Dorian Yates gave, uh, you take a piece of sandpaper, cause an abrasion on your hand, you're going to get a callus. But if you keep rubbing your hand, your body's not going to be able to recover as fast or as efficiently if you're continuously rubbing on the palm of your hand. Um, rest and recovery is, is beneficial as shit. Make sure that you have an adequate amount of rest between each time you um, target a muscle group in the gym. Like I said, you know, with the abrasion on the hand, you want to give yourself an adequate amount of time. Um, sleep, a lot of people neglect sleep. Um, you should get enough rest every night. You grow 
when you sleep, you don't grow in the gym. Um, try to refrain from ego lifting. I mean, yeah, you are trying to to maximize your poundages to ensure that you're failing between eight and 10 rep range, but you wanna be able to make sure you do this without sacrificing form or sacrificing the mind-muscle connection. Um, that's um, simplified as I can really get with that. Make sure you have a caloric surplus. Um, don't consume protein powders unless you need to. Um, it's not a really a staple. Yeah, they're a good tool, but they're only a good tool for whenever they're needed. You miss a meal or you're not able to consume the amount of, of protein needed. Um, the only essential uh, building blocks for uh, building muscle is going to be fat and protein. Carbohydrates only a fuel source to be able to get you through the gym, to be able to get you through the day. It's not essential. Your body can make that as needed. So carbohydrates are an essential uh, macronutrient. Um, you can dirty bulk or clean bulk. Clean bulk is obviously going to be your best route if, unless you're not worried about excess body fat. Um, state of basic heavy movements, 8, 10 rep range to failure, no ego lifting. Um, maximize the mind-muscle connection, the muscle that you can tra you're training. Make sure that you're focusing <clears throat> on that muscle and that muscle alone because you're not you're not a power lifter or you're not trying to power lift in this, this sense. You're trying to maximize hypertrophy, not maximize the amount of weight you're actually moving. Get in and out, don't stay in the gym forever. Keep your rest period between one and two minutes. Make sure you get adequate amount of rest recovery. Keep a notebook to be able to make sure you keep track of your poundages. Um, that's short and sweet. That's all that's really required. Thanks for uh, sitting around for six minutes. I'm going to make my longer one later. Bye-bye. Lightly grasp it.